the nice weather's out. You've got your freedom panels off. Maybe you even have your doors off and you pull into a parking spot and realize that, well, it'd be nice to have a little more secure locking storage in your Jeep. And of course, the center console is the obvious place because, well, let's face it, that's where we all throw our junk. But the center console is plastic and we know that lock's only gonna last for so long. Well, Tuffy Security Products builds their security console insert that is assembled inside your console. It's made from 16 gauge steel that's formed, welded, and then black powder coated. And with its 10 tumbler dual bit lock and key arrangement, it adds a whole nother level of security to your Jeep. The installation's easy, but it can be a little tight to get your hands down in the console, get all the pieces assembled and bolted together. So we're gonna show you how to install it and hopefully we can do a good enough job showing it to you clear and concise. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is unpackage the box, lay the parts out, and make sure you have everything you need for the install. Now we're going to start out with the main frame and that locking door. And then we have two different height side brackets. And this is going to depend on your console depth. If you have the shallower console, well, you're going to use those shorter brackets. If you have the deeper console, you're going to use the taller style bracket. And between the brackets, there is a left and a right. Your right hand bracket and your left hand bracket. You can tell your left hand bracket has this little tab for the friction bracket. Then we have our filler plates and they also come with a right and a left. You can see the right has the angled sides on it and the left, they're a little more vertical. And then you have two bags. One has the two keys in it and the other has all the hardware you need to assemble these parts together. Now tools needed for the job are a number two Phillips screwdriver, a 7 16 and 3 8 inch wrench. It's best if you have the ratcheting end style. And then you want a 5 30 seconds hex key and we went with an extension and a ratchet to make it easy. All right, to install this, obviously we need to get into the cab, try to get yourself comfortable. And you're gonna reach down into the console and grab out this rubber mat. Then we can take our frame with the door, make sure it's unlocked. Now we're gonna slide it down in. And you wanna go with the front edge down first. And then we're gonna open the door and then lift the whole thing back up. And you wanna have it high enough, clear the USB port at the back corner. And in goes our right hand side filler plate and that's going to drop down Then we want to grab our right hand side plate and that's going to go in now the first screw we want to put in is just in the very center and you might need a little alignment tool just to get in there and make sure that those holes are matched. We can take our screw and drop it down in. And it's typically easiest just to hold the nut, spin the screw with the screwdriver. And now we can take our other side piece and drop it in. It's going to come up on the left hand side. And then the left hand support bracket's gonna go in. You gotta hold that filler piece in. Line these holes up. Let's tape that bracket up and out of the way. And we're gonna use our 3 8 inch ratcheting wrench and a screwdriver. And let's go ahead and tighten up all those nuts and screws. And 
Now grab our rubber mat and we can slide that back down in. Now for that back corner nut back by the friction bracket, it can be really hard to get to on a wrench, so you can use a quarter drive ratchet with a 3 8 inch socket. Now for our friction bracket, we want to grab the black bolt. We're going to put the one plastic washer on up against the head, then that's going to go through the friction bracket. The next plastic washer goes on, and now we're going to slide it down and through the hole in the tab on the side bracket. Now we're going to get a 7 16 wrench in there. And we're just going to start tightening that up. Now how tight you want to go, that just depends. So there it's a little too tight to slide easily. So we're just going to back it off a little bit. There it'll hold open or it easily shuts, but it's not loose. And then locked. And back to unlock. So now that you've got your Tuffy security console installed in your Jeep, let's use it. We're going to grab our keys, unlock it, open the door, and it's ready for your valuables. Let's say you hit the tables last night and you did really good. Well, that bankroll, right in there. Let's say you have something that you can't carry into a particular building for one reason or another. That goes in there. You shut the lid, we lock it, then you can shut your console and even lock that for one more layer of security. So are you ready to add some lockable storage, some real lockable storage to your Jeep? If so, hit that link down in the description box below and get a Tuffy security product security console on its way to you. You'll also find a link for the full Tuffy security products here at Northridge 4x4. While you're down there, hit that like button Hit that subscribe button, because if you're not subscribed already, why not? And then hit up that comment section and let us know. What do you do for more security in your Jeep? Thanks for watching today. We'll see you again soon.